there's been so much of discussion, debate and controversy around the farm bills that another bill that has cleared both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha test has largely gone unnoticed. This is also a contentious piece of legislation, but in the entire controversy surrounding the farm bill, it's kind of um, lost or it's missed out on the scrutiny that it perhaps deserves. I'm talking about the Foreign Contribution Regulation Amendment Bill. This makes changes to an already existing act called the FCRA, which is again the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. This act, the purpose of this act is to regulate the foreign funds that are coming into various entities and the amendment bill makes some very crucial changes to it. Now, opinion is divided on this split right down the middle. Um, I'm going to take you through both sides of the debate, but first the key takeaways from this amended bill. The first big change is that not more than 20% of the foreign funds that are received can be spent on administrative purposes. This was earlier 50%, it's now been reduced to 20%. The next big change is that Aadhaar has been made mandatory for all office bearers when they have to renew their registration of the uh, license which allows them to get foreign funds. So all office bearers will have to submit their Aadhaar details, uh, their identity details before this registration or renewal process happens. The next big change is that the bill prohibits the transfer of funds from one entity to the other. So, for example, if one particular NGO receives foreign funds, it can't transfer any part of that money to another NGO. The fourth big change is that the government can conduct an inquiry uh, before renewing the certificate for any NGO. And the terms of this inquiry essentially are to check whether it's not a fictitious or a Benami NGO to check whether it has not been prosecuted or convicted for religious conversions or for any activities which are against the interests of the nation and it's not been found guilty at any point of misappropriation of funds at all. So the government can conduct that inquiry uh, into the NGO when it comes to renewing the certificate which permits them to receive foreign funds. The government has also um, said that they may suspend the registration of a person for a period not extending an additional 180 days. So initially, as per the original act, it was 180 days. This amendment makes it one more 180 day period. That's how long they can um, suspend the registration of a person pending inquiry. The last big change is that foreign funding can be received by their NGO in only one bank account, which is the State Bank of India in the national capital. Like I was saying, opinion is completely divided on this bill. On one hand, you have the opposition and various NGOs who are saying that this is an attempt to muzzle them, that this is a big brother attitude to ensure that any NGO which is perceived to be acting against the government, which is perceived to be raising its voice against the government is targeted. They're also saying this opens up the door for government intervention and arbitrary um, inquiries into the, their functioning. Uh, they've also questioned the 20% cap which is there instead of the earlier 50% uh, cap. So the opposition and a number of NGOs are very upset with this bill. They've raised objection also to the fact that an NGO can't transfer money from one entity to another saying that this will kill various partnerships that they've been doing with a number of smaller or local NGOs. So these are the big uh, points of contention as far as the opposition and various NGOs are concerned. As far as the government is concerned, they are saying What's the harm in submitting, for instance, your Aadhaar card? Why should an NGO be afraid of revealing the identity of the stakeholders? The second big thing is they are saying we've seen a number of instances where NGOs are misappropriating funds, using it for their personal interests. So that's why this cap has been put. Uh, that is the purpose of this. And finally, the government is saying we're not going to target NGOs, but this is to ensure that there is no uh, anti-national activity or there is nothing which is against the interests of the nation. So. These are the two sides of the divide. Like I was saying, the bill has cleared both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. It will be passed as an act and amendments will be made to the original act. But what do you think? Do you think that these amendments have been moved to curb NGOs from functioning? Do you think that there is any legitimate concern in what the NGOs are saying? Or do you think this is much needed and the government should keep a closer eye on the functioning of these NGOs? I'd love to hear what you think, so do let us know in your comments.